What's up guys, Kieran here again from Asic Motorcycles. Going to do a really quick video today on hard wiring up the regulator rectifier on the SV650. It's got that common problem that all brands of bikes seem to get at some point in their life where the cables have burnt out um, on the connectors. Really easy to sort out, hard wire it, make it more waterproof, sort it out. You won't have to worry about it. What I do recommend if you're doing something like this, if you have to replace your regulator rectifier as you're doing this, go to a dealer, bite the bullet, go to the main dealer, get yourself a decent regulator rectifier. There's too many floating around eBay that you'll have to pull off again in maybe a week, month, whatever. But yeah, let's get on with the video. I'm gonna quickly show you how to do this, make it as easy as I possibly can, and it will fix all your worries when it comes to these cables melting out. Right, I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet, but I'm going to show you exactly why we're doing this. So for a start, if you ain't noticed, the cable there has popped out from the previous repair, which wouldn't have done much anyway. The most common cause you'll see is these uh, connectors being burnt out. You'll notice that they're melted on the ends. So what we want to achieve with this is pretty much snip all this here away, so up to the point we've got a good cable. Most of the burnt cables seem to be on this side and you can feel they're a lot stiffer than say these ones, these ones are all right. So we wanna basically cut all this away and then we're gonna hardwire our new regulator rectifier in. So we'll be snipping these ends off as well and making a direct connection. So we just wanna strip these cables off and what I will say with the yellow wires the reason they're all yellow is because it doesn't matter what order they go in for the uh, for the regulator rectifier so we're pretty much going to use the same as what we did in the last video which is these um, heat shrink wraps with the solder in the center um, I'll put the link down in the description for those but all we want to do is just simply splice two cables together and it's like having a solder and heat shrink join in one. So what you want is you want your cable spliced and to have your sleeve go over, the sole connection in the centre is over the two exposed wires that you just linked together. You just want to get your heat gun. You want to get it hot but you don't want to melt the cable. So as you're doing this you just want to keep it moving. Just like that, and that will leave you with a good solid connection. So what I want to do now with the rest of them is just match all the colours. So obviously you've got uh, a negative side, positive side, and then these three yellow wires will match up with these three. Doesn't matter what order they're in, um, just as long as they're connected. So once you've done heating all of your wires, it should look something like this. Um, if you let these cool a little bit. When they're hot, they're a bit soft. When they cool down, they're nice and solid. But as long as you can give these wires a tug and they don't come out or move or slide around, that's what you want to see. So yeah, that's all ready to go now to be wrapped. So I'll be wrapping this just in the bog standard PVC tape, really, really tight. It'll be tucked away underneath the bike. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. You'll be helping us out massively subscribe, like, whatever else. We're gonna keep showing you videos like this, especially when it comes to doing bits of wiring whilst I'm doing wiring on this bike. So the next lot of videos will probably be doing the speedometer, um, and I'll be showing how to tune that with wheel diameters, how to calculate your wheel diameter, stuff like that. So yes, please like, subscribe. Any questions, hit me up in the comments, hit us up on social media. I'll post all my links, I'll post all the links to everything we use in this video today. So yeah, thanks guys.